हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट ऑफ सेवन स्टैंडर्ड सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स लेसन नंबर थ्री डेटा हैंडलिंग वॉट टू गेट बाई डेटा हैंडलिंग डेटा हैंडलिंग बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग डेटा हैंडलिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज डेटा डेटा इज अ काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन विच यू आर कलेक्टिंग मैन्युअली और थ्रू एनी मैगजीन न्यूज और एनी सम एजेंसीज एग्जाम्पल इफ आई आस्क यू How many students are there in your class? You will say there are 25 students in my class. There are 42 students in my class. This is a kind of a data. Okay? Data. There are two type of the data. One is primary data and another is secondary data. Primary data is which you can collect by asking anyone, any time. Okay? You get the that information about the data. That is the primary data. And what is secondary data? The data which You you cannot get by asking. You have to uh, find it from some institution or some agency. Example, uh, with weather of Dahoo for last five years, you cannot find. You have to go to the Google. It's a it's a kind of uh, you can get uh, data from there, or you have to go to the weather department. They will give you. This is this is the information. This is known as data. Example, if I say. Uh, in your class, the teacher comes and takes the attendance. She is writing year date, suppose, and day, date and day, year, present, absent, and total, like this. Okay, how many present student? Thirty-two. Absent, five. Total, thirty-seven. This is a kind of data. From this, you can understand. You don't have to count again and again. From looking this box uh, or this uh, information, you can get how many students are present, how many students are absent, and you can get total uh, number of students in a particular class is thirty-seven. This is one kind of information. Another kind of information is like this. See, again, date, date, teacher will write present, absent, and total. Your teacher will add one more thing. Boys. Girls and total. Okay, this is also a kind of information which you will get in detail. How many boys are present? How many girls are present? And how many total students are present? And then in dividing this, okay, total present. Suppose thirty-two. Total absent. Suppose five. Total number of students in a class is thirty-seven. But how many boys are present? Suppose twenty boys are present and twelve girls are. And a present. That means twenty plus twelve is thirty-two. Two students are present. How many boys are absent? Zero two. And how many girls are absent? Zero three. That means two plus three. Two boys are absent. And three girls are absent. Total five students are absent. How many total number of boys are there in that particular class? Twenty plus two means twenty-two. Twelve plus three means fifteen. This is the information of a class according to boys, girls, and total present. This is the kind of information. Okay, if I ask you, how many members are there in your family? Suppose in X members, X means particular person, X family member. Father, mother, sister, and That for that student himself or herself, student. So how many number one, two, three, four? Total four members are there in X family. So members are there in X family. This way we can get the information. Okay, one more thing. Whenever we are giving, we are taking your test or exam, we are giving you progress card or the result. Okay? Yeah, we are writing like we are preparing this result like this. Okay? Now. Here we are writing name, roll number, division, standard, standard, GR number, whatever we are writing here. And here we are writing making column, subject, maximum marks, marks obtained, total, whatever it might be. We are writing here F1, F2, whatever it is, your remark or whatever we are writing. Okay, like this. Now, subject: English, Maths, 
हिंदी गुजराती या एक्स वाई जेड नाउ टोटल परसेंटेज रेंज ग्रेड वी आर राइटिंग लाइक दिस इन इंग्लिश मैक्सिमम मार्क्स इज 50 मैथ्स मैक्सिमम मार्क्स इज 50 हिंदी मैक्सिमम इज टेस्ट पेपर वाज ऑफ 50 मार्क्स गुजराती पेपर टोटल 1 2 3 4 दैट मींस 200 यार इन इंग्लिश दैट स्टूडेंट विल मोस्ट स्टूडेंट इज एक्स ही और शी गॉट 40 मार्क्स इन इंग्लिश इन मैथ्स ही और शी गॉट 49 मार्क्स इन हिंदी शी गॉट 41 एंड यार इन शी गॉट 35 टोटल 9 प्लस 1 10 10 एंड 5 15 4 प्लस 1 5 5 एंड 4 9 9 एंड 4 30 30 एंड 3 165 टोटल 165 मार्क्स शी गॉट आउट ऑफ 200 लाइक दिस वी कैन डू दिस कैलकुलेशन वी कैन फाइंड द परसेंटेज दिस इज द इंफॉर्मेशन दिस आर द काइंड ऑफ अ डेटा व्हिच वी गेट ओके नाउ वी विल सी सम सी डेटा स्कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड थ्रू पिक्चर पिक्टोरियल पिक्टोरियल ग्राफ or any way or pie graph you can explain this now you are in uh, table 3.1 in your textbook you will see temperature of cities as as on 20 6 2006 Uh, in a particular day, the name of the cities in the bar, Amritsar, Bangalore, and Bangalore, 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 B
that means this is half okay from this we can get total number
This graph can be drawn in histogram, bar graph, or the graph can also be drawn through the line. There are different types of the line bar that we'll see in next exercise. Okay, in this chapter only. This chain can be seen in the pie graph also. The pie pie graph. Yes, in your uh, in this chapter, no pi is there, so we will not see. But I am explaining only one example. Like this pi is there, this can be drawn. Suppose according to this, we will have to give one day degree of then we have to write positive for degree wise. We can give the information through pi also. Now we are going to start. I am explaining one example. Okay, so one example. This is the chapter from statistics, and this type of the information or lesson is very important up to 10 standard. So be careful. Okay. One example I am giving. See. Suppose I am in seventh standard. And from roll number there are 25 students in a class. And if I ask their weight, okay, there are 25 students. And if I ask from roll number one, two, three, their weight. Suppose roll number one's weight is approximately we are taking, not exactly, but about roll number 21 will depend. Uh, roll number one will say 20. Roll number two will say 18. Roll number uh, three will say. 22, like this we can count 13, 21, 20, 18, 15, 26, 27, like this we can count. Okay? 15, 16, 19, 21, 20, 14, 28, 32. 30, 31, okay, 24, 26, 20, 30, 28, and 9, like this. These are the weight of student in kg. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 total students. Now, these are the information or these are the data we have collected from students. This is the primary information from standard number standard. What is your weight? We are waiting, uh, doing their weight and we are writing. Like this is an example, I am giving one example. Now, your lowest observation and highest observation and the range, what is, I explain this. Lowest observation, what is lowest observation, what is highest observation and what is the range of this. I will explain this. Here, see. You can arrange this. Is, there are many information which is very difficult to arrange them in ascending or descending order. So, you, you have to see manually. What is the smallest number in this observation? See, 20, 18 is smaller. Here, 18, 15 is smaller. 14. The lowest observation. Or most data is 14. Now higher. See, 20 is higher, 22 is higher, 26, 27 is maximum, 31 is maximum, 32 is maximum, 32, 32, 30, 32 is more. So maximum observation is. Now, what is range? Range is higher observation minus lower observation. What is highest observation here? 32 minus 14. Here you can subtract. 2, we borrow 1 from 3, so it will be compared, 12 minus 4 means 8, 2 minus 1 means 18. So this is the range of this.
this example what I have taken of my own like this you can do now 3.1 example I am explaining see Ex exercise 3.1 you are continuing and doing see so that it will be easy for you okay here it is a find the range of a height of any 10 students from your class what are the manually you can find your manually so it is a practical sum you can ask your friend which are living around you and count their uh, height and write their 10 students arrange them in order or without order you can write the lower higher and find the range this is the homework for you here one example I have given what is given in the question number one question number one is homework you have to uh, find the height approximate you can write 5, 4, 3, 7 don't write in point if suppose your friend is 7.2 meter or centimeter or inch, whatever it is, height in foot, you have to write 7 only. If someone is 8.3, you have to write 8. If someone is 8.7, write 9. Like this, you can write and do this homework. Approximately. Okay, question number 1 is homework for you. I will explain the first type of the question. What is given here? That is why I will explain this. Now, question number Okay, it is very easy and give a uh, uh, click a photo of that your answer and send us to our WhatsApp number. Okay, now organize the following marks, organize the following marks in the class assessment in a tabular form. Tabular form, what is a tabular form? Here we will see. see. First, some marks are given. See, marks are 4. 6, 7, 5, how many students are there? Here it is not said. Okay. 4, 6, 7, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 2, 6, 2, then 5, 1, 9, then 6, 5, 8, 4, 6, 7. We have to arrange this in a tabular form. Again, for that, we have to write uh, which number is the highest, which number is the lowest, what is the range of the data, find the arithmetic mean. That I will explain. Okay? Now, first of all, we will write here. Question number one, which is the high, uh, which number is the highest? Highest, okay. Second one is which number is lowest? Okay. Now first of all we will say highest. Your four, six, seven. Seven is highest. 9, 7, 8, so which one is bigger? 9, no 10, no digit number, no 10 is there, so highest is 9. Lowest, here 1, is there any 0? No, so here lowest is 1. Now we have to find question number 3rd, that is range is H, O means highest observation or higher data minus NO is lowest observation, observation 9 minus 1 means 8 ok now we will write this from this information we have to find arithmetic mean also and we have to write information also the tabular form also and explain what is tabular form see here What is the lowest here number marks? Tally mark. Then total tally mark sign or frequency will say here it will say frequency or data observation we can write. Okay, we can write it out. Number of
What is the lower? They are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and total. This is the tabular form. Yeah, now how to do? What is the first one? Four. Where is four? So we have to write one line like this. Then second, I'm going to move this hand. You have to keep it is very important. If you move your hand, you will not find properly. Now second one is six. So in six box you have to write one. Then seven and write seven. Then five, write your five. Then three, very three. Yes. Then again five, we have marked one line. Again mark second line here. Then four, we have marked one, mark it next. Then 5, then comes 5 again. Then 2, here 1. Then 6, here. Then 2, into what you have to do this. Then 5, like this. Then 1, then 9, 6, 5. In 5, we have already done 4 lines. Whenever 3 lines is coming, we have to do cross lines. That means it's a one box of five or one group of five. Now eight, one, now four, then six, then seven. Now we have to count how many, what is the number of frequencies in one. Number of frequencies getting one mark is one. Number of students getting three marks is two. Number of students getting three marks is only one student who is getting three more marks. There are three students who are getting four marks. That means three. There are five students who are getting five marks. There are four students who are getting six marks. There are two students who are getting that sorry, there are two students who are getting seven marks. There is, there, there is one student who is getting eight marks. There is one student who is getting nine marks. Total it will do one, two, three, four. 7, 12, 18, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 12, 18, 20, 20, 20, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, Four yes, here four will come. In six and uh, in six not four will come. Okay, here again. One plus two, three. In this, how much will there? One, two, three. I have done here six. That was my mistake. Now one, two, three, four, four are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay. So total twenty students are there. Okay, like this. Now we have to find its arithmetic progression. Arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean means Average. Arithmetic mean means average. Three, three, four, three, 